Hello everyone, it's Janelle, and today's freehand tutorial is a fun, whimsical one. It's folk art embroidery nails. The colors that I use for this look are white, yellow, and red. I used a few different nail art polishes in red, white, green, and blue. And these are all water-based, basically acrylic paints, so you can actually use acrylic paints and thin paintbrushes instead. To make really simple flowers, I used a dotting tool, but you can also use a toothpick. And we cannot forget your favorite base coat and top coat of choice. Let's first brush on a layer base coat to protect your nails and help the design last longer. For a bright pop of color, we're going to paint the thumb and pinky nails with a bright red nail polish. Next, I'm going to take a white nail art polish with a thin brush, and I'm going to make a white French tip on the bottom. You me to, to finish off this nail, I'm going to dip a very tiny dotting tool in white, and then I'm making a small cluster of four decorative dots on the top of each nail. Okay, moving on to the index and ring fingers. For these, apply one layer of white nail polish. I find it hard to not give in. Next, I'm going to take a red nail art polish and I'm making a V shape at the top. Fill in the top of the V with red. Now with white, I'm making a second thin V as a decorative border. Then add short little lines on the white border to represent little embroidery stitches. So and underneath our little red triangles, I'm going to use a dotting tool to make a simple five petal flower with circles. Then fill in that flower with yellow. Next, I'm going to add some simple decorative leaves with green. A lot of folk art uses symmetry in their designs, so I'm trying to make things symmetrical. Just for fun, I'm going to add a few extra dots in blue. And I think it looks a little bit bare, so I'm going to fan out the leaves a bit with a few extra strokes of green. This next nail design for the middle finger starts out with another white base. And now I'm going to add a border with a thin red line around the entire nail. I find it hard to and since we're making a embroidery inspired look, let's add some red stitching around the nail border. Finally, take your dotting tool dipped in whatever colors you want to make the flowers. I made a red, a blue, and a yellow flower in the center. And if you have shorter nails, you can incorporate a single flower instead of two or three. Add a few swipes of thin green lines to make some leafy accents. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face. And then I see something shimmering in your eyes. Then finish off the look with a coat of non-smearing fast drying top coat. And they say That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, did did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Cause we have no thumbs. <laughs> please subscribe. Bye.